Oh, whoa. What is this? Still thing. Matt here. And say we're metal detected down here at the once was 1920s landfill. And as you can see right behind me, it doesn't even look like a landfill anymore. It just looks like a bunch of overgrown trees, grass, and all that random crap. Um, Right now it's currently about 21 degrees outside, so this is definitely going to be a compilation video. Whenever I freeze up, I'm out of here. That's the way it goes. So, um, no more chit chat. If you want to talk, leave a comment down below. And let's go. We got a coin. Ooh, we got a nickel. Years it from. Nineteen forty three. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh my god, thank you. 1943, baby. For people that don't know, 1942 to 1945 nickels were 35% silver. So this right here is 35% silver. That is, oh, it's awesome, man. I got another pinpointer find under the tree here. <laughs> we got a thimble too. Yeah, we got a thimble, man. I don't know what it says on it though. There's a few words on it. Oh, oh. There, it there it is. There it is. Oh, oh, that's got to be it. Yeah, that's it. That flew right out. What? What is this? Dirt. Makeup compact or something. Huh. Oh, it's moving. What? Okay, uh, I don't know what this is. I thought this was a makeup compact. It probably is, but I've never seen one with something in the middle like that. So, uh, you tell me. That's weird. All right, so I got an idea. Why don't I make a video that's strictly for the subscribers who click the bell, right? Don't drop it anywhere else. It only drops directly on YouTube. No Twitter, maybe Facebook, that's it. But of a video that is a straight live dig, no transitions, of me just digging here at the landfill with the pinpointer and the metal detector for just five maybe 10 minutes straight just to give you guys an idea on what i actually go through to find this stuff now to me i think that'd be interesting because well that video i could pull anything out anything out or i could pull nothing but trash but you know it could be a make or break but it'll be only for the subscribers so if you're interested leave a comment down below majority will win uh yeah that's about it so tell me what you think Boy, this is delicate. What? What is that? 
That was way down there. Gotta be careful with this one. It's metal, right? Metal? Yeah. That barely even comes up on the metal detector, man. If I wasn't pointer searching, I would have never found this. That's crazy. I can't wait to clean that up. I wonder what it is. Around. 8082. Got a coin. Hold up. Oh man. Yes. What? <laughs> yes. Oh man. We got a Mercury dime right here. Mercury dime. Well, it's kind of worn. Oh my god, that is beautiful. Oh man. I love Mercury dimes. The way they look, man. I wish they'd bring back that dime. That'd be cool. That is beautiful, man. There we go. Found some silver. Oh man. It's been a while. Ah, yes. this wow this is old looking wow what wow that that's amazing man look it looks like it was a pin a pin at one point in time that's nuts look at that oh man relic straight up relic I have no clue what year though but that's beautiful look at that Ooh, yeah, there's a picture on it. I think this is a button. Yeah, an old button. That That's just gonna be a cool button. I'm gonna clean this up. Wow. It's actually interesting looking. All right, so these are our finds for the past uh, I don't know, roughly two weeks. Uh, this is all the trash and stuff that I dug up out of the ground. Old spoons, you know, another spoon, aluminum. Look at that. We got a whole tube. That's 
trash. I don't want that. Let's throw this stuff out. Nobody wants it. There we go. Uh, not everything will be in the video, like these three items right here. Um, I figured that what was the point of putting this kind of stuff in, you know, like just belt buckles. I'm sure they're old, but no real value. Uh, found a bottle. Looks very old. Maybe a medicine bottle or something. We have a vintage aluminum thimble. That was an interesting find. It's been a while since I found a thimble. We have, I think, see a friend of mine told me that this was once a cigarette case, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, that's the inside of it. And I don't know. Leave a comment below if you know what that is. I have no clue what this thing is. You tell me. That's the front, I think. And that's the back, possibly. But I have no clue, so you have to fill me in on that. Now we move on to the best finds throughout the two weeks I was out there. And we got this, what I thought was a navy button. But I ended up finding out that by the way it's uh, the bird's wings are shaped, they're very rounded and stuff like that. They're actually a pretty common button for, you know, typical people like you, me, would wear on our clothes. They wanted the design too, so... They made kind of like a generic version instead of the real deal of the navy buttons. So that's not a real navy button. I wish it was. We got a 1943 war nickel. 35% silver is the front. And that's the back. The mint is P. Mint for Philadelphia. Uh, I think this is either a pin or a brooch. I have no clue what the difference between a pin and a brooch is, but here's some details of the front. And here's the back. And then we have my personal favorite find out of all of this stuff is my 1920 Mercury Dime. That thing's beautiful. And that's the back. That thing's over a hundred years old now. That's considered an antique. That's crazy. And that's pretty much it for the finds throughout the past two weeks. Uh, which one was your favorite find? Mine's the Mercury Dime, of course. Uh, leave it in the comments below. Also, leave in the comments below uh, whether you want to see that live dig or not for 10 minutes straight. Like, uh, only for the subscribers, though. Uh, other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to click like, please subscribe, and click the bell. My name is Still Finn, all caps, one word. And thank you for watching.